Salutations, everyone, and first off, my number one problem with other players in the game isn't if they camp, if they use OP guns or whatever, it's the emblems. They are horrendously terrible, unoriginal, and just bad. It's You're really hard-pressed to find something good. Most of them look like something like this. Like you gave a two-year-old a package of stickers, and then they just, they just started randomly throwing them on a piece of paper. Does this look good? Does this look like an emblem you would be proud of that you want to slap on your gun that you worked so hard to prestige a couple times? How many freaking people have dolphins on their damn emblem? It's just this lazy racist pornographic crap that is unoriginal and doesn't look good if you have a skull on your emblem you're a noob that's number one sign of a noob if you have a skull on your emblem look at this completely unoriginal we saw plenty of those hot dogs in the first black ops this one is all right um, i'm sure he used as many layers as he could um you know not com incredibly original but at least he tried he used it made something creative Look at this. You put a skull on a reaper. How many squiggly line backgrounds have we seen on emblems? I mean, just just give it up, guys. Once again, something unoriginal. If you've saw it a hundred times in the first Black Ops, why bring it back here? Radioactive symbol, lame, triangles, you know, rectangles, skulls, skulls. Once again, uber, uber noob sign. I know this guy's name is Hugh Hefner, so the Playboy Bunny kind of makes sense, but... We all saw plenty of terrible Playboy bunnies in the first game. So just just be original, guys. Do something that you don't see everyone else doing. If you're going to copy something like the Batman logo, make it good. Put in some effort. You know, it doesn't have to be an amazing work of art. If you want to copy something, do it some justice. And don't just throw a bunch of stickers together or put lame-ass skulls or flames. You know, something that makes you look like a kindergartner. Use a man's emblem. This is an awesome emblem right here. And I'm going to teach you guys how you can make an awesome emblem. Because you don't have to have a shitty emblem. I want you guys to represent... Uh, look, I used every single layer that I could here. There's all the tools in this game available to you. You can change the color. And it's just an awesome emblem editor that they gave us in this game. It only has 36 layers, which I wish you know we had more. But I'm thankful that we have more than, what, the 15 that we had in the first game. So I'm going to show you guys what you can do to make an awesome emblem. And let me know if you want me to do more of these. This is your bread and butter right here. It's the tools section where you get all your uh, different edges and shapes. Um, you got the color picker here is awesome for all these nice little default colors. You can also press start. Uh, to change like the red and green and blue color balance so you can get any color you want in this game which is fantastic because the first black ops had like 10 colors you could really choose from like there wasn't a real yellow in that game and if you wanted the right shade you just couldn't find it but here you can do anything you want you can click in that right thumbstick as you can see i'm doing right here and i'm changing the proportions of the shape and then i can out click the right uh, stick to just free scale it to make that shape smaller or larger and just experiment guys you have all these awesome shapes i always uh almost always use a background color which i suggest you do as well it just makes a lot of things easier if you have a background color and you can see you can move the layers here seamlessly if you have a background color, then you can overlay something with that same color as your background to uh, to make the shapes the way that you want uh, in the easiest way possible. And here I'm just going to go step by step to the kind of strategies and tools that I do to make emblems because I loved making emblems in the first Black Ops. I almost had a new one for every single gameplay that I had. Uh, because I thought they were cool. I liked making new ones. I like slapping that thing on my gun. And if you're going to go through the time to prestige your weapon two times. And then going through that third time to get that emblem uh, ability to put on your gun. You know, make it something cool, guys. You know, this, this, this game has given us so many awesome tools to play with. That uh, it's... You're doing yourself a disservice if you don't have an awesome emblem. You know, take a half hour to an hour and a half. You can get an awesome emblem. And you can save them and create new ones, which I'm experimenting with right now. And here I'm just showing you guys starting a brand new emblem from scratch. 
Uh, there's a lot of trial error. It, there's a little bit of learning curve, but after you make one really complicated emblem, you can pretty much make whatever you want. There's plenty of layers and plenty of colors and tools at your disposal to make pretty much any emblem you want. And I want you guys to represent because I'm sick and tired of seeing people with all these stickers, emblems, and all these skulls, and all this pornographic stuff. The third game of Black Ops 2 that I ever played, I already saw a penis. I don't know why these little boys are obsessed with penises. I mean, it's okay if you're gay. That's cool. But, I mean, that's just, that's just stupid. Putting a dick on your emblem. I mean, it doesn't set you apart from any other 12-year-old kid out there. And it just makes you look like you want the D. And I'm pretty sure that's not the message that everyone wants to be spreading out there. So, like like I said, the tools is where your bread and butter is going to be. Some of the other pictures might be somewhat useful to you. Uh, the letters also. But uh, just try to stray away from putting a bunch of stickers together. but And just make something that you'd be really proud of. Something creative. Something that looks good, you know? Anything pornographic is just lame, unoriginal. It looks dumb. Put something cool. It doesn't have to be original. You can look up something online that you are a fan of. If you're a fan of a movie franchise, video game franchise, a sports team, all the tools are there uh, to make something cool. You know, you, you're a little bit limited. You only have 36 layers. And there's a lot of complicated shapes that you might not be able to make. But there's enough out there in this game for you to get the emblem that, that you are satisfied with. Um, you know, like I said, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but uh, all the tools are here, people. And you can make a pretty sick emblem. You might be able to see what I'm sh uh, shooting at here right now. Um, if not, you know, just give it a little time. It'll come to you. But it's a pretty awesome, well-known logo. You know, represent. If you like something, show it. You know, you don't don't take 10 minutes and make some crappy skull with a cigar and, you know, lighting on fire and have a dick in the background with a tent. You know, that's just, that's so lame. And I find that really dumb. So I just want you guys to, uh, to have an awesome emblem. And right here, you might be able to see what I'm doing. It's a Nintendo 64 logo with the, the three-dimensional N. You know, it doesn't have to look perfect. Um, you can always, you know, ch change it up. Um, all the tools are there to, uh, to do all the things that you got to do. 36 layers is more than enough for anything that you want to create and um i'm just having a lot of fun with it right now i love creating new logos and let me know if you guys want me to do more of these videos um i'd be glad to because i love making new emblems might have to be video game characters well-known logos or just you know original stuff because i I think I think it's cool when I see a logo and be like, oh, that's cool. I like that. I see what you're getting at. I know what you're a fan of. I know what you're about. And you know how to use the emblem editor without making it look like you just gave a two-year-old a bunch of stickers to play with, you know. Be creative. Make what you want. You know, I don't care if you want to make a logo of your favorite brand or sports team or whatever. Just, you know, take a little bit of time. Maybe you are not a big fan of making new logos all the time, at least make one good emblem that you could show off and, you know, put on your gun and be proud of and make yourself stand out. There are so many people with guns and dolphins and skulls and genitalia. It just makes you seem like an absolute loser if you are just like everybody else. So be creative, be your own person as you can see right here, I'm just trying to shape out all the tools um, here with, you know, all the various shapes. Um, this one is, you know, pretty simple because it's geometric. Uh, while the Sonic logo I had was very organic, a lot of smooth features. That one took a long time to make, but when I was finished with it, I was so happy with my finished product. So, you know, just, just tool around with this. You'll get better. You'll be able to make better ones. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Even this logo doesn't end up being you know, spot on in the long run, but it's the best that I've seen. And I always get compliments about my logos and I want you guys to, uh, to do the same. So I'm just going to speed up the rest of the video as much as I can here and uh, show you the end results. And, 
you know, you can fiddle back and forth between the emblem editor and, uh, you know, just because it, it shows up a little differently in the editor than it does when you're done and you look back on your player card to see what the logo looks like. So just fiddle around a little bit. And this is my end product right here. Um, let me know if you guys want to see more of these emblem tutorials. Um, I, I would be happy to do them. Uh, there's plenty to do in this game. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you next time.